The secret's out, ladies and gentlemen. We're down to the final four. L.A., Seattle, New York, and New England are in the conference finals. But they don't, they don't play this week. I'm Jeff Ross, and this is, of course, the American Soccer Show. Deadass! I don't, I don't know what that was. New York somehow defeated D.C. United. I have no idea how, but they've earned the right to be beaten senseless by New England. Congratulations. Now, at a minimum, I will be at the second leg in Boston, a.k.a. Foxborough, Massachusetts, which is not Boston at all. The first leg is the one that has the issue. I don't know if I can make it to that game. It's a scheduling issue. Originally thought it was the 22nd. It's actually the 23rd. It's a whole thing that I'd rather not get into right now. That being said, Boston friends, you are officially on notice. I will see you soon. Assuming you are at that game. If you're not at that game, I won't see you. LA versus Seattle will be very exciting to see, and I really wish I led the jet set lifestyle that allowed me to see it live, but I don't. So I'll just be eating some chips. However, all of these games don't even start until November 23rd, which from my perspective is seven years from now. So what are we supposed to watch until then? America, dummy. The glorious United States of America takes on Colombia in London for some reason on Friday, and then takes on Ireland in Ireland for some reason the next Tuesday. I support it. Minnesota United FC's Miguel Ibarra is back in the lineup, but perhaps more importantly, the New England Revolution's Lee Wynn is in the lineup for the first time since 2007. Good for him. He is far better at being a midfielder than I am at doing anything. Which either says a lot about him or very, very little about me. The practical realist in me would predict a loss to Colombia and a win versus Ireland. But I don't have time for that, so I am instead predicting victories on both games with an aggregate score 8-3 to in favor of freedom. Next week, if everything goes according to plan, we'll have some very exciting changes around here, which may or may not involve me gambling my roommate Ian's money. I still have his wallet. I don't know why he hasn't noticed. As usual, subscribe to this channel somewhere above me, and of course, follow yours truly on Twitter, at JeffIsFamous, the only Twitter handle God intended you to follow. You're not better than him. Don't even pretend.